is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to Just as you are before your God, come. One day every tongue will confess you are God. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. We read from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, beginning to read at verse 22. Jesus has just taught a crowd and fed 5,000 people with five loaves and two fish. He has sent them away and travelled to the other side of Lake Galilee. This is where we take up the story. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the opposite side of the shore of the lake realised that only one boat had been there and that Jesus had not entered it with his disciples, but that they had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias landed near the place where the people had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. Once the crowd realised that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into the boats and went to Capernaum in search of Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, Very truly, I tell you, you are looking for me not because you saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. 
for on him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. And they asked him, What must we do to do the works God requires? Jesus replied, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So they asked him, What sign then will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness. As it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. May God help us to understand his word. Amen. What is real bread? Is it white or brown, seeded or granary, spelt or gluten free? Some will say it has to be handmade, straight from the oven. In the context of communion, some would say anything but wafers. Jesus spends a lot of time in our reading answering the question what is real bread? And the prophet quoted in our welcome told people not to spend their money on what is not bread. 
but they were talking about spiritual bread. So, in the spiritual context, what is not real bread? Anything that we turn to instead of Jesus is the answer. That could be work, possessions, keeping up with your friends, your appearance, your success, the number of followers or friends you have on social media, sport, your house, even your church or your family. Anything apart from Jesus that you look to to give you strength, to sustain you or to make your life feel worthwhile. These things are not bread because in the end they do not deliver. They do not satisfy. You work hard and dedicate your life to them but they never quite come up to the mark. You are always left feeling you need more. You may never achieve quite as much as you hoped to at work or you might lose your job. The possessions you surround yourself with are never quite live up to the hype and are never quite enough. Friends and family and even people at church can let you down. Sport can bring you highs but also crushing lows. Nothing quite satisfies. Only Jesus is the real bread. Only he satisfies completely. Only he will never let you down. But in order to receive what Jesus has to offer, we need to feed on him. But how can we feed on him? We can listen to his teaching as we read scripture. It's best to use some Bible reading notes or an app which provides a reading and an explanation. The Methodist Church provides a word in time and similar service is provided by Scripture Union, the International Bible Reading Association, IBRA, the Bible Reading Fellowship, BRF and many others. We can converse with God in prayer, listening to him as well as talking to him. We can meditate upon God and his word or turn our minds to contemplation. These are only a few of the ways we can feed on Jesus. There are others, too many to mention them all. But whatever connects you to God through Jesus and allows him to speak to you do that with all your heart and do it continually, never giving up. In that way we feed upon Jesus. And as we do so, we will share in the new kind of life he comes to bring. Life that is abundant and lasts forever.
Let us pray. Generous and providing God, we offer you our worship today as a God who knows and meets our need. From the beginning of time, you have been at work. Creator God, forming and sustaining a universe of beauty, plenty, order and wonder. Throughout our lives you have been at work, Lord Jesus Christ, filling us with your love, your grace and your healing. In every moment you are at work, Holy Spirit of God, energising us to live and work to your praise and glory. For the times when we have abused your creation, taken it for granted and spoiled it for others, we say sorry. For the times when we have spurned your love, denied your grace, refused your healing, we say sorry. For the times when we have lived in our own strength and not in yours, marring your image in us, we say sorry. In humility and in wonder, we see your offering of life for us. 
we hear your words of forgiveness. We stretch out to take the hand you are holding out to us and we rise cleansed and renewed to live in your power, to your glory. Thanks be to God. Amen. Our prayers for other people. God of all grace, we know that you hear us when we cry out to you. We know that each of your children is precious to you and loved beyond measure. O oh Lord, hear the prayers of your people and set your people free. Lord, we know that you hear the cries that must be made in silence. Those who live in fear of an abuser. Those who are persecuted for their faith those who are lonely or isolated. Lord, hear the prayers of your people. Hear us and set us free. Lord, we know that you hear the cries of those living in the midst of conflict, those trying to protect their children in war-torn nations those whose domestic situation is marred by constant tension and fear, those who work or live in hostile environments. Lord, hear the prayers of your people. Hear us and set us free. Lord, we know that you hear the cries of the hungry and thirsty, those families who have to make the choice between heating the house and cooking a hot meal. Those experiencing the worst effects of the climate crisis and fa facing drought or crop failure. Lord, hear the prayers of your people. Hear us and set us free. Lord, we know that you hear the cries of those who spend it, their days putting on a brave face those who hide their pain from others, those who feel the need to be strong for someone else. Help us to stand alongside all who cry out for you, not to speak for them or to assume we understand, but to remind them that they are not alone. Help us to share a little of your love at all times. Lord, hear the prayers of your people. Hear us and set us free. In your name we pray. Amen.